Hi guys, so this is the cinnamon. Oh my god, look at that. Yummy! So I got here two and three fourth cups of flour. We're gonna add the one half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add the one fourth cup of granulated sugar. And we're gonna mix it. We're gonna stir it, just like that. Stir it like that. So I got here three fourth cups of milk. And we're gonna add the unsalted butter, melted. That's three tablespoons of butter. And I got here the one sachet of instant yeast and we're gonna mix it just like that so we're gonna add these ingredients to the dry one just like that oh my god once it's added we're gonna add the egg just like that so we're gonna combine all of these i mean stir it let's stir it Like that. Okay. Keep mixing. Okay, guys, this is almost just like that. We're going to transfer these here. We're gonna start kneading it. Okay. We're gonna knead this dough just like that. So if like this it's sticking to your hand like that, add a little bit more of the flour because it was a little bit sticky. Okay, just like that. Okay, and start mixing it. I think this texture now is a little bit better. So this is a little bit better. Oh my god. Look at this. Okay, let's get that one. Keep mixing. Keep kneading, I should say. <laughs> this is getting better, guys. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna make sure we add all this. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to because we're gonna form this dough into a bowl and we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. Oh my guys, just like that. Hold on, one more. Okay, oh my god. So, we're gonna put now this in a bowl just like that. We're gonna cover this for 10 minutes. Let it rise for 10 minutes, I should say. Okay. So in a bowl, we're gonna mix the brown sugar with the cinnamon. This is one fourth cup, and this is the cinnamon, one tablespoon, just like that. Let's mix it. And so this is how it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna get these. This has been 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna do half of it because this is a small surface and I want to make sure that, you know, I'm gonna flatten this up. I'm gonna make sure that it's really flat. Guys, I have limited space, so if you're seeing me like doing this, it's because my space is not much. I'm just making it work okay guys this is almost done just like that now we're gonna spread some butter in it spread the butter I'm gonna make sure you fill it okay the same process as what I did a while ago with the other one just the same process. Okay. Okay, now that the butter is spread, we're gonna add the sugar with cinnamon in it.
just fill it. Make sure you fill the edges too. Okay, this side. Okay, so that's how it looks like with the cinnamon. Now we're gonna roll this. Just start rolling this just like that. Oh my god. Then do like this more. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's not gonna be perfect as my space is limited. Now what we're gonna do is slice this. I start here. So we're gonna set this aside for an hour and let it rise because I only let it rise for 10 minutes. Just like that. So don't worry if your slices are small, it's gonna be bigger later once you set this for a few minutes to let it rise for an hour, I should say. So we're gonna let this rise for an hour before we bake this. Okay. Oh my god, look at these guys. So this is how it looks like with my cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Amazing, right? Gonna let it stand like that. So I'm gonna move here this one that I slices just like that. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna put five in here. Okay. Some of my slicers are small, but that's okay. Just all right. Hi guys, so this is how it looks like, the, all the dough that I rolled up. Oh my god. So hi guys, we're gonna bake this for 24 minutes under 375 degrees. Look at this. Oh my god, this is gonna be tasty. So my cinnamon rolls are done. Look at this. Oh my god. Yummy! Amazing. So we're gonna put the cream cheese. We're gonna blend it. Okay, hold on. Look at that. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put the butter in it. Butter? Yeah. What? <laughs> right? Yeah. This is three. No, this is two tablespoons of butter. So we're gonna blend it together. adding half a cup Let's blend it again. So we're going to transfer the icing that I made. So this is how it looks like. Oh my god. We're going to transfer it in a small bowl. That way it's easier for me later on to put it on the bread, on the cinnamon rolls. Oh my god. Look at that. So guys, we're going to add this filling here. Oh my god. Look at that. Just like that. Just a little bit. Do the same. Just do like that. Oh my god. Usually you can use the spatula, the flat one, to coat this. But I'm just gonna use the brush. Just like this. Amazing. I think it, I made so many um, icing, but that's okay. I do that one. Yeah, I'll do it too. Hi guys, so this is the cinnamon. Oh my god. 